and nobody can afford to buy three or four thousand extras. It's just not economically feasible anymore because you have to costume them, you have to transport them, you have to feed them, uh, and it you move very slowly when you're trying to direct a large group of people like that. So doing that today is is next to impossible. Uh, but doing it digitally, which is you get a small group of people, of say a hundred people, and you replicate them and move them around, you can have exactly the same effect for a tenth of the cost. We've changed the medium in a way that is profound. It is no longer a photographic medium. It's now a painterly medium and it's very fluid. So the things that are in the frame you can take out, move, put them over here. And so it, it, it's almost like going from two dimension to three dimension in, it, in the dynamic that's been created at this point. There is a misconception that we are surrendering something of art to a technology that will do it for us. That, that is never the case. But cinema itself is technology, and to, to say that, oh, well, it can't be an art because it's a mechanical device rushing celluloid through it is as naive as to say, well, you can't create because now it's a computer rushing numbers through it. The technology is always an element of creativity, but it never is the source of the creativity, and so my attitude is to embrace technology as it comes. In any kind of art form, you're creating an illusion for the audience to look at reality in your, through your special eye. The camera lies all the time. It lies 24 times a second. 